Um, it, it's, it's one of the nicest things that anyone associated with the show hears on almost a daily basis. Yeah. Which is, I went to Howard because I watched your show. That's awesome. I became a doctor because I watched your show. I became a lawyer because I watched your show. I had no intention of going to school yeah. until I watched your show. And now I've even had professors mm -hmm. say I am now teaching because right. of, I even had HBCU presidents say I am an <laughs> HBCU president because I watched a different world. I love that. You know, it's. I think one of the things that was so appealing about the show was that you had every character that really really emulated the flavors of black America. So you had everything from the bougie princess yes. from the South to the bohemian Freddie. Yes. You had the young woman who was striving from uh, modest means to become a doctor. And of course, Dwayne Wayne came from Baltimore, the hood, or wherever he came from. And But he was still striving. And then your character, Ron Johnson, new money. Daddy had a, what, a, a, a car dealership. dealership, and you were not hurting. No, it, 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 there, there were, in many ways, uh, art reflecting life. You know, my dad was an entrepreneur, and so I, I think that kind of seeped in uh, to what the writers put into the character. But the, the other demographic was we had Lou Myers, Glenn Turman, that represented yeah. mature folks. And, and one of the... It's really interesting that um, we were the number two show on television most of the time, mm -hmm. but we were on occasion, it's one of the great joys to be able to say ever that you were the number one show on television awesome. any given week. The week we were number one, uh, if you go back in history to the first Iraqi war, yeah. George H. Bush right. had given Saddam Hussein an ultimatum. Mm -hmm. You had 24 hours to comply with the U.S.'s demands mm -hmm. or there would be serious consequences. Yeah. That was on a Thursday, and that Thursday night episode was an episode where Glenn Turman, Colonel Taylor, was counseling Blair Underwood's character. That was one of the best. Who was about <laughs> to go off to war. Yeah. And he gave this very impassioned speech at the end because everyone was so proud mm -hmm. of Blair's character that he was, you know, this soldier about to go off to war, and he finally confessed he didn't want to go. Right. And he was scared. And Colonel Taylor talked him through it. Mm -hmm. Well, that episode was number one show on television wow. that week. It was written by a gentleman named Dominic Hoffman, who played a character on the show, and Jasmine Guy. Yeah. And that night, after the show went off the air at midnight, the U.S. began bombing Iraq for the first time. I remember that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Um